All right, I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, potentiometer on a Samsung drive for an Xbox 360. First off, you got to get it out of your Xbox, right? Go ahead and open it up. This is what you're left with. Now, I had a ribbon cable here, but this is just a spare drive. Uh, I don't have one. I took it off and put it on a different one. It's pretty much the same thing as the Hitachi's. You know, your potentiometers are down there. Now, if you just remove this cable, you can uh, get pretty much access to them. But, you can't get a multimeter down there to actually check them. So, you're going to have to flip it over and remove the ribbon cables that are attached to it. And there is a... pin here, you just move to the side and they'll lift up out of there. And that's what you're left with there. Now I'm not sure but on the Itachis, since I, I went ahead and removed this cable like a long time ago, the uh, that cable might actually be glued to the bottom of this board somewhere. So you might just have to uh, move it up and out of your way, you know, kind of to the side a little bit. And be really careful with these uh, cables too. These contacts can easily, when you push them back in, if they're not lined up correctly, they can split and just peel back. So, be aware of that. And what you're looking for, once it's upside down, is the top left potentiometer, this one there. And the two contacts you want to put up to your multimeter, if this camera will focus, is the top left one and the top right one. This one is only for the CDs. This one is for the DVDs. So you want to put your multimeter up here and right there. Then you want to measure it first before you do anything. If you don't have a multimeter, then don't do it. And you have to have it set to 20k ohms. Let's go ahead and measure it. Now this one's at 4.31, which is, you know, okay, it is. They can go all the way up to like 6.4 from the factory. And what you want to do with these is turn them clockwise to the right uh, to decrease the resistance to the laser. So, and you want to do this very, very gently and really slow increments at a time. If I can get this one to turn. I got a really crappy uh, screwdriver here. Let me try a different one. Hmm, that ain't doing it either. There, let's try it now. Now it's at 4.25. So let's get it down to, I don't know, 4.15-ish or so. That, that'll be about a 0.2 increment. But for some reason, my screwdriver ain't wanting to turn it for me. Alright, let's try it now. I'm 4.25 still again.
There we go. Well, close enough. 4.18. But you only want to do it in uh, 0.2 increments. So if you have a 4.5 ohm potentiometer here, you want to go down to about 4.3 to 4.2-ish or so. You know, you only want to go in 0.2 to 0.5 increments or else uh, you could risk uh, blowing out your laser um, sooner than you know it should. So never go below 0.3 or uh, never go below 3k ohms or else you risk blowing this out like in like two days or you know as soon as you put a game in it because uh, that's just too much voltage going into this laser so that's how you uh, adjust one on a Samsung Xbox 360 drive